Hi guys, I'm Shikin. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now you're watching episode 7 of My Crab Show. If you haven't watched the previous episode, you can find the link at the description. In this episode, we will discuss the application of ultraviolet light and biosecurity in recirculating aquaculture systems. In the Biofrog Weekly, I have discussed a bit of ultraviolet filtration in rust. As you would probably know, the ultraviolet filtration function is to kill the bacteria in the water before the water circulates back to the crab house. Compared to biofloor, it does not need UV filtration as the bacteria is needed to form a good water characteristic. Good water characteristic means to help remove the toxic ammonia inside the water. Different in rust, to remove ammonia, we need biofiltration, as what I have explained in the previous episode. Remember? Now, let us take a look at our UV filtration. Here, we have two different UV filters. One is in the cone, where the water will pass through the cone and screen by the UV light. Another is the submersible UV light. You can either choose to apply any method depending on your preference. However, the efficiency of the UV light also depends on the turbidity of the water. The UV filter efficiency will reduce when you have high turbidity. In rust, the turbidity of the water might come from the accumulation of heat and pieces, which will form sludge later on. Besides, the addition of chemical supplement in the water such as calcium and magnesium will form a scale on the UV light surface over time. Thus, farm operator need to take note of the lifespan and maintenance of the UV light. Now let's take a look on the UV filtration one by one. Here we have a UV filtration cone. So let's take a look how it looks like inside. As you can see, here we have three different space for a UV light bulb and here we use two different light bulb as the UV filtration. So the water that has passed through the sand filtration will flow to the UV filter cone and screen by the UV filtration and the water will go into the system. Why it is important to apply ultraviolet filtration in the system? It is all related to biosecurity and disease outbreak. Good biosecurity is when you can control the disease in your crab farm. The use of food bars and disinfection processes should be necessary as a good practice to avoid further issues such as disease outbreak. To understand why a disease outbreak occur, we have to first understand the disease triangle. To avoid the outbreak of disease, you have to make sure that the environment is good by ensuring good water quality and the host is free of disease. And lastly is to avoid pathogen. You can reduce the likelihood of the disease outbreak by acting on the disease triangle. UV light will help to reduce disease outbreaks by killing the pathogen. Keeping the crabs in enclosed space or crab house will probably have higher chances of accumulation of the harmful bacteria. Although the water circulates every time through the inlet and outlet pipe, the bacteria may stay inside the crab house surface. As a precaution, frequent disinfection will help us to remove any potentially harmful bacteria. But imagine if you have more than 1,000 crab house. How can we frequently disinfect all the crab house in one shot? In this case, you need to alternate the crab house disinfection by block. Giving an example, we have stacked the crab house according to block. One block consists of 100 boxes. So in one week, we will disinfect two blocks followed by another two different blocks in the following week. As long as you have a schedule for disinfection, your crab house should be in a good condition. 
Generally, crabs are known to be a hardier species than the Pacific white shrimp. The crabs are often found to be carriers of disease like WSSB, which results in catastrophic mortality in the shrimp industry. The immunity of the crabs is also stronger than shrimp as they can withstand higher bacterial loading from pathogen like Vivio. However, this does not mean that the crab that have full immunity against pathogen and a good environment is often still required to ensure the crab are safe from pathogen. This infection can be divided into two, physical and chemical disinfection. UV filtration is categorized as physical disinfection. Other physical disinfection includes desiccation light, dry heat and damp heat. While chemical disinfection can come in many options. Chemical disinfectant containing active substance such as halogen, oxygen releasing compound and acidic and alkaline compound were all able to produce at least a 99.99% kill in 5 minutes. Examples of chemical disinfectant are calcium oxide, calcium hypochlorite, calcium cyanamide, formalin, iodine, ozone, sodium hypochlorite and potassium permanganate. The disinfectant should be selected considering the following. Effectiveness against the pathogen, effective concentration and exposure time, ability to measure efficiency, nature of item to be disinfected, compatibility with the available water type, availability of the disinfectant, ease of application, cause, impact of residue on aquatic animal and environment, and lastly, user safety. Here, we use a potassium permanganate as a disinfectant. We need to use 2 ppm to disinfect the crab before putting it into the system. Here, I have a box of water. I will show you the process. First, we need to weigh the desired amount of potassium permanganate and then mix it into the saline water. This is the potassium permanganate. After mix, you can see that the color will change to purple color. You should wait 30 minutes for the, re the reaction to occur. We have reached the end of the episode. To recap, in this episode, you should probably know how we can control the disease in our system and type of disinfectant available. In the next episode, we will discuss the supply chain and the importance of RAS technology. Don't forget to subscribe to get a notification on the next episode. If you have any questions, do drop it at the comment section as we will do a Q&A session at the end of the show. Thank you for watching.